Greetings exiles. It's time for a fresh solo self-found journey. As I promised this time it will be totems. And of course, magic find. Just a little bit. I was originally going to go with something standard, like a shockwave totem or other meta totems, but then Chris gave me a sign. Yep. Gold rim in the first act. I don't know about you, but that's a clear signal to me. This journey needs something special. So I've chosen flame with support. And in combination with rejuvenation totem, this will be my main skill. But before I go into more detail about this combo, I need to find a charm with this modifier. So at level 45, I went to the Wildwood in search of this charm. What could be better than starting the journey with two hours of grinding? That's right, random tabula rasa. Well, why not? This video just started and I'm already sometimes lucky. And that's exactly what I need and now I can use my main skill. Honestly, I'm a little nervous because I don't know how good Flamewood support is. But to tell you the truth, this combo surprised me and its damage is very good and that's considering that I decided not to use Tabula Raza because I don't really need it. Because our totems now have taunt, monsters attack them and we have no problem activating Flamewood support. So the start is very promising so far. More totems and more damage. Nice. Good. Well, why not? What if it works? It did. No way. Nice try, Chris, but I have another plan. I had no problems with the act walkthrough, and now it's time to test my character on the maps. All in all, it was a pretty fun tutorial. Gold Rim, Tabula, and Penance Brand of Dissipation. Crazy start. On white maps, I was also satisfied with my character and had no problems with damage, although to be honest, this gameplay is a bit clunky at some points and takes some time to get used to it. Also, speed is not the strongest side of this build, but I'm in no hurry and this gameplay suits me fine because damage is good. Wow. That's a big deal. Also with a good roll. My rejuvenation totem is an aura and with these boots I can get 5 extra levels for it and it will greatly increase my damage. Because in this build totems life and extra projectiles are the main way to increase our damage. Look at that. And with the new boots the life has doubled and in fact it doubled my damage too. That's a very good upgrade. As for the additional projectiles, this is another way to increase our damage, because Flamewood support can shotgun. That means that each projectile can damage the same target and therefore the more projectiles we have, the more damage. In general very interesting and at first glance a strong skill. Unexpected. More gifts from Wildwood. Nice. This may be useful to me in the future. Bad ring. Maybe this will be a good ring? Nope. As for my atlas, it looks like this. Wandering path to speed up the atlas completion. Also expedition and harvest because they'll help me with my gear. And miss again. Maybe three to one. Nope next time for sure and another useful item for magic find well i've completed most of my atlas and it's time to get my first void stones this is what my gear looks like before boss battles pretty humble and it's basically what i found on the ground or made with the help of an expedition something like that Quite mediocre gear, although even with it the character has a relatively good defense and most importantly damage.
As I expected with bosses there were no problems, because the damage is really good. But as I said earlier, this gameplay takes a little time to get used to, and then everything will go smoothly. This boss I killed deathless, I realized that this is a weak quest version, but I think we will have no problems with the normal one. Especially if you learn how to place your totems correctly. And this is where I died once, I just panicked in the ball phase. I'm bad at this game, sorry. But we still have six portals. No way. I don't believe this is it. It's really it. Although this amulet won't be of much use to me on this journey, it's still a very nice drop. Now when I got my void stones it's time to change my gear to magic find because for this build I need some unique items and MF is the best way to get them, especially with the mechanics of this league. Although in the end it won't be a full magic find build. And MF gear I will only use as a temporary stage. Since I'm on SSF, I don't have much choice and this is all I could find. So I'm going to work with what is available. I ended up with this and it's a pretty scuffed build to be honest, but let's see what it can do. If I die a lot I will change things. I also changed the atlas slightly. In the end it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. On T7 maps with a lot of wisp I don't die and yet my damage is pretty high. Also, my increased items quantity and rarity are pretty good. Alright, let's start an endless grind. Not bad. Let's try it again. Interesting. This could work. My resistance leaves a lot to be desired, but I think it's still worth it. Especially if it's soft core and I have six portals. And as we all know, six portals is the best defense. Here comes the first big drop. Venter's Gamble difference by the way. And another one. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these divine orbs. Do you have any ideas? I even managed a map with 7k wisps. And here comes the first loot goblin. Small. And Scarab's explosion. Very pathetic compared to what you saw in the trade league. But these scarabs helped me and I ended up with a good explosion now. Just what I need. But now I need a lot of harvest juice to make a swap for these scarabs. I definitely need to fix my filter because this is getting out of control very fast. Loot in this league is insane. And a little random upgrade.
Finally a good ring. Thanks Chris. When I started this adventure, I was a little worried that the build would be bad. But to my great surprise, the build feels good. Sure it's clunky at some points, especially when compared to strong meta builds. And when I say clunky, it doesn't mean that mapping won't be comfortable, I don't have a problem with it. We just place our totems, they taunt enemies and activate our avenging flame. After which everything dies pretty quickly. Some of you may not be impressed with what they see on their screen, but I want to remind you that this is a solo self-found league and look at my gear, it's very basic. And even with these items, the build is completely effective. I was able to finish most of my atlas, get my first void stones, and am now doing MF to find upgrades. And at each of these stages, the build has not disappointed me. No way. I'm definitely going to need a lot of harvest juice. Also, the most important thing for me is that it's fun to play it, and it feels potential, and I'm looking forward to finding all the right items to make the build much stronger, and I'm really curious to see what it can do. At this point, I'm collecting the items I will need, although to be honest, I haven't decided what the next upgrades will be, because it all depends on what I can find. It's a solo self-found, and it's very hard to get exactly what you want. You can't just buy the right items. But honestly, after the trade league, the fresh SSF feels like a breath of fresh air and it's even more interesting to play than in the trade league. Speaking of which, I accidentally put together a pretty good starter set for Poison Penance brand Pathfinder. That's funny. And if it wasn't for this video, I would have definitely done a pivot. Well, the first part of my adventure has come to an end. Thank you all for watching, commenting, and giving me advice. I appreciate it. Also, I will be very grateful for your likes, subscriptions, and comments. And if you have any questions, join my Discord channel. The link you will find in the description of this video. Bye everyone and see you in new videos.